Today we're gonna talk about tub water. You use tub water for your shower, but most importantly for cooking. You use it to cook your pasta, your rice, your vegetable, and even making your soup. Do you know there is 400 pollutants into your tub water? And even if you use a water filter, the filter do not filter everything. Inside your tub water, there is fluoride, radionuclide, disinfectant, and waste from the agriculture industry. Your water filter will remove bacteria, chlorine, copper, mercury, but not fluoride and no radionuclide and neither the hormones that you find into your tap water. Now I'd like to talk about hormones. You may think, oh, that's because we have been taking hormones since the 60s to avoid being pregnant, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. Most of it is part of the pharmaceutical industry who give to cow and cattle hormones and the waste of the hormone who goes through the urines of the cow is not recycling and go into our water supply. Now we're gonna talk about the biggest problem into our water supply. Something that has been added on purposes and is called fluoride. For many years, fluoride, you may think that it's good for your tea and that's perfect, so you think it's a good product, right? Actually, fluoride are a waste product from the agriculture industry. Phosphatus, nitrate, fertilizer, seek then into the ground of water supply. One glass of tub water contains 250 times the amount of fluoride recommended. And if you check your toothpaste, they contain fluoride too, but there is a little notice behind who say that fluoride is highly poisoning. I drink avian water that's a great water it's not because I'm gonna promote avian but avian is pure and San Pellegrino water has come from Italy it's more expensive it's sparkling uh, gas water but actually is very good for your pH like you need a certain pH in your body and certain Pellegrino gonna help you to achieve that goal.